hi guys welcome back to my channel this is avi wait in this video you're going to learn how to make this beautiful fascinator i don't want to talk much i just want you to see the reaction of my wonderful client with a fascinator <laughs> The things we are going to need for making this fascinator okay so i already molded my um fascinator okay as usual i use the nets the nets i usually use that's what i use the molding it i doubled it in four places molded it is already dry so i'm just gonna go i'm gonna go ahead now remove the pegs thereafter i'll use this sequence to cover it I believe we all know how to do it right so if not maybe i will just do a fast forwarded video of how i fix it so that you can see but if not i'm going to leave a link up here so you can check as well to um see our previous video on how i covered something like this okay and thereafter i'm going to show you how you could use your fabric to make a strip okay a strip without cinnamon you know we usually use cinnamon um, material to make strip okay uh, like by a strip so I'm going to use fabric to make it so just stay tuned okay in order to make this strip I'm going to need a fabric I cut out two inches of this fabric then I cut out um, more than half of uh, hard steel a very hard steel this is it okay so I cut out, let's say 0.75, depending on how wide you want it to be, okay? So I'm going to go ahead, place it at the middle of, of this, my fabric, like this, okay? Make sure it's equal, like so. So I'm going to go ahead and iron it neatly, okay? Let me quickly do that and get back. Here is it, neatly ironed, as you can see. So what I'm going to do right now, if you notice um, these rough edges, I wouldn't want them to appear. So I'm going to go ahead and use my scissors to trim it out neatly. Okay. Why it's like this? Because when I was cutting it from the main fabric, I just... While I was cutting it out from the main fabric, instead of using scissors that it will not be straight, I just put a magnet, tear it like this. So definitely it will have this rough edge. So I'm going to go ahead now and trim it out okay i'll trim both sides okay so here is it after trimming it out neatly so i'll go ahead and add glue on both sides like this just a little not too much okay so after applying the glue i will allow it to dry a little bit then i will first of all press one side down okay starting from the edge here okay like this press it so that it will be neat okay i will continue like that till i press the whole side down if you do it like this believe me your strip is going to come out very neat you know some persons usually use um cinnamon then they will use fabric to wrap it okay but this one no cinnamon at all After pressing one side down, I'll continue with the other side. Just place it over it like so. Same way. Why I'm starting from here so that it will not have some puffness at the sides. Okay, so it will lay very flat. Here is it. We are not going to leave it like this. So the next stage now, I'm just going to take my iron then make sure i iron it flat very well make sure the iron is very hot both sides here is it is it not looking neat and firm 
okay our bias strip is ready so you can go ahead and embellish it with whatever you want to use it for so i'm just going to go ahead and cut it in half because i'm going to be needing a lot of heat i will use both um two colors for this particular design so this is how it's gonna be how will you know that this is not bias um cinnamon you can see it neat right so let's continue with the rest of the um design so here i already removed the pegs i'll pull out my mold you will all know the mold we usually use breakable plates i used to in order to achieve this um, design i doubled it okay I use a flat one and another one on top. I just use the sellotape to seal it so that it will not fall off. So this is what I use to achieve that shape. So here is what we have. You can see how firm it is. So I'll go ahead and cut out the rough edges. So after trimming it out, I'm going to fix my wire inside. So there's no point wrapping the wire because I'm definitely going to cover it again with the sequence. So I already cut out the size of this. You know how we usually cut it, right? You just place it over and cut it out. I bounded it. So now I'm going to fix it inside. So you must fix it inside first before um covering it with with the sequence okay so this is the right thing to do so before placing the the sequence over it i'm first of all going to add glue at this inner part first okay just the top side the top not the down okay so that it will not be coming out So after I finish, I'm going to add glue as well at the top side like this so that the sequence can stick to it. So after applying the glue, I'm just going to face, face the sequence down like so. Okay. In order for me not to waste uh, this uh, waste this fabric. I'm going to make sure I gauge where it's going to come in, like so. So I'm going to take my pegs and just use it to hold it down. Like I said before, I did a video previously on how to um, cover something like this. So I'm not going to allow this video to play complete. I'm just going to go ahead now and fast forward it while I continue the work. So I finished, I'm just going to go ahead right now and trim off the excess, okay? Look at how it is. Hmm? So this one, I'm not going to open the needle like we usually do. I'm just going to go ahead and put the design directly on it. Okay, so let me quickly cut it. When I finish cutting, I'm going to stitch it round, then get back to us. So I now have some green and gold stripes, okay, straps or stripe, I don't know how you call it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to assemble them all on this sheet, okay. I'm not going to use, um, uh, there's no point using um, hard stay on it, okay. Maybe I'm just going to double this. So I'm going to go ahead now, fold here down. Then fold here down. 
okay so that's what i want to do so this is what we're going to use so this is where i'm going to lay all of them this rough side just a perfect square okay so it's going to be like this like this or like this i'm going to make them like this so i'm just going to go ahead and add glue at both sides of the inner part also that it can be dry like this okay i will add to all of them like so so after adding glue i'm just going to go ahead and stick it like this you can stick like this or i prefer mine to be like this kind of sideways okay can as well be like this maybe i'll make some like this and some the other way so i'm going to go ahead now and stick everything to this piece okay i'm going to start from the green i mean the widest one I'm going to do the four cardinal points first. Just add some glue here and stick like so. So just follow me in a simple way. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue like that. The smaller ones, I decided to fold them round like so. Okay, just like this. A perfect circle. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to continue placing them like this. Then the middle of it, I just tied. This is a bead, so I tied, I just fixed about 10. So I'm going to place it at the middle here. Then I will add this stuff to the place there. So do you now believe that you can make your strip without using cinnamon? Anything is possible, just put your mind on it. So you can see I'm done with it. I just added some few feathers, so I'm going to stick it right here on the fascinator. So I'll add my glue. I'll also go ahead and stitch it a, a, a little bit, just stitch it with the half, then add my um, then add my elastic band, then get back to us. Here we are, we are done with it. You can see it's looking nice, right? Wow, so I'm just going to try it on now so you can see. Look at the inner part. I went ahead to cover this place with bias, the rough edges. Then I added my band. So I also add an elastic, okay, so that if um, uh because it's a little bit heavy okay um because you know this um, band at times you can be dancing some kind of serious dance uh, you know uh, because it's a choir mistress that owns this uh, fascinator so that the time she will be dancing it will not come out so you will use the elastic to hold the head at the back while the hair band will still be there as well so this is a new strategy so it's going to be like this so i'm just going to try it on so you can see how it is <laughs> it 
Did you see what I just did? I used the elastic to hold my hair, okay, from behind, while I use the band to just place it here like so. So if you like dance, 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 it can never follow. <laughs> wow, this is amazing. Now begin to take a selfie of this. Uh, begin to screenshot it. You like it, right? Wow. Is it looking nice? I can see it's nice. Now you know the right thing to do, right? Now, if you know that this video has blessed you, you've learned a um, new thing from this video, please do it to give it a big thumbs up. And please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, do it to hit the subscribe button so that we can appreciate your work just as you are appreciating us as well, okay? Please, and if you have not um, turned on the notification bell yet, do it to do, uh, do that so that anytime we upload new videos, you will be the first to get notified. Okay, we go, we upload videos every Monday. Please, please, and please give this video a very big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel, okay, and also follow me on my Facebook ha handle, uh, Facebook page, which is everywhere. Okay. Oh, this is nice. Bye.